guys are familiar with um, with who Gordo is, like he's responsible for developing, you know, like a real good offensive half guard and, and really like this half guard position um, that we're working from. So you can always look up some of his stuff online if you guys are, are interested. We're going to work from the, uh, the knee shield a little bit today. So the knee shield um, works well when I'm just trying to keep him away from me here a little bit. You know, we've got some guys in the school that are really good at this position, like Grant's really good here, and he just keeps you away to the point where you feel like you want to start driving in because it's hard to, to get in close and start to control the hips for the pass. So I'm going to feel Professor uh, driving in, and I'm just going to slide the knee shield off. And if you can see my foot position, usually for, for me, there's different ways to do this, uh, but the leg that's doing the shield here, I just put my foot on top of my, um, of my other foot here. And that gives me good pressure here. Some people like to cross here and stuff like that. Uh, it's going to be like personal preference as to what feels best for you. So I feel Professor um, driving in, and I'm going to slide the knee shield off and let him come in, and I'm going to get deep underneath. I'm going to get the pummel, and I'm going to underhook on, uh, on his uh, left leg here. So he drives in here, boom, just like this, and I shoot in, and I've got this good um, underhook on the leg and a good pummel. Now I want to load him up a little bit, so I'm going to rock him towards the corner of the room. So I pull with my right arm, I bump with my pummel, and I kick my left leg. So you can see, just like this, it's like all in one motion here. So I bump, he, his hands go to the mat, and he's going to come back down, right? As he does, I pass off and I grab on to his shin or the top of his uh, ankle here. Now remember, the lower I grab, the better it's going to be. I want to really bring his heel towards his butt right now. So. From here, sometimes we got to give a second bump just to get low on the hips. It's going to be my left arm right now with the pummel that's going to drop down and grab onto his toes. So I'm going to bump him a little bit and I'm going to start to come low. And now it's not up around the waist like the belt. I drop lower around his hamstring and I grab onto his toes here just like this. Now my right arm, I'm going to start to turn like I want to get on my forearm and I'm going to pinch my knees. As I pinch my knees, I turn. Just like this, like I'm going to turn to all fours. Now my head's going to stay low. Remember, I don't just pop up here. I stay low. I drive in, grab the far knee, pull out his base. Now from here, I want to pass towards his back. I don't want to come this way because his hips face this direction. He's going to put me or try to put me back in the guard. So I'm just going to hop around here, secure side control as I climb up. Look at it again. So I'm here, I'm knee shielding, and I'm keeping him away. Notice with the knee shield, I'm not in like this driving because he can grab my arms, he can start to, you know, set up. So I'm gonna be back here. When I feel him driving in, I'm gonna slide the knee shield off, hit the pummel, and underhook or scoop his leg. So I slide off here, boom, come in. Now from here, I'm gonna rock him towards the corner. So my, uh, my left leg, my left arm, and my right arm all bump here, bump grab, come back. Now, sometimes it takes a second bump or we can just really uh, bump the pummel again here, bump and drop my arm around, grab his toes. From here, open my legs. I'm triangled right now. I just put my leg or my feet to the mat, pinch my knees together and turn. Head stays low, grab the knee, pass it towards the back, right? Not towards the front, hop around. Questions, guys? Gordo sleep? All right, let's get in there. One, two, three. <laughs>